F23A. Is there a difference between a JDM F23 and a USDM F23A? Let's find out. All right, guys, so <clears throat> right here on Google, you can Google JDM F23A specs. Here are all the specs for the JDM engine. It has pretty much all the same specs and everything as a USDM makes 150 horsepower 152 foot pounds of torque to the crank still a 931 compression still a single cam 16 valve VTEC engine and everything right right here if you go in JDM world it's 97 to 03 <coughs> obviously USDM CG Accords will be 98 to 02 135 horsepower for the non-VTEC ones, non-VTEC F23, which is the F23A5, which is, I believe, like a DX model Accords. And then with VTEC F23A, A1, A4, and A7, it has 150 horsepower. And it says torque on them is 205. I don't believe that, but it's what it says. So doing more research on this, because I don't want to get false information out. Because I know a lot of people come to my channel for the F23 content, CG content, and stuff like that. I was wrong. I wasn't wrong. I gave wrong information. I didn't know this information. But from more digging around and stuff, I have found more information. So, the compression ratios are different on the USDM and JDM engines. Which explains a lot because this gold car pulls a lot harder than I can remember my gold car did. Oh, my gold car. My, my coupe did when it was NA. The USDM engines may have a 931 compression ratio as the JDM has a 981 compression ratio. So the pistons are different in a USDM and JDM engine. Also, the valve covers are different because slightly, not different, but different coating. They have the that wrinkle black on them on the JDM engines and the USDM engines don't. They just have like a regular colored valve cover. I think it's gray or something like that. <clears throat> The JDM makes an extra 8 horsepower, so it makes, instead of 150 horsepower to the crank, it makes 158 because of the 981 compression. <clears throat> so, there's a little difference in there. The tune is different on a USDM and JDM engine, different because of the difference of the sea level from Japan and here. So, <clears throat> but it don't make a difference here. When you put them on a car here, if you're running a USDM ECU, I'm pretty sure if you run a JDM ECU, it'll make a difference. Or if you just want to put it like a chip P28 in your car and get it tuned or everything, you'll make more power out of a JDM US JDM F23 over a USDM engine for the simple fact that it's got a higher compression ratio. So it'll make a little more power. Not much, but a little. The intake manifold is not different, but a little difference in it. Also, the injectors are different let's do more research and we'll update the pistons are different because of the compression ratio the upper intake plenum on a jdm has less ports because of the emissions and the cam the cam on a jdm engine is slightly more aggressive from what i was reading good information <clears throat> so don't take all this in like oh it's actual facts this is just what I'm reading on differences from the US and JDM engine. I can definitely say for sure compression ratio is different and possibly the cam because I could feel a lot difference in this JDM swapped F23 Accord that we have and like Matt's Accord pulls good. He's got a USDM engine but this I feel like pulls a lot more aggressive and the VTEC kicks a lot harder. Even I gave Matt a ride in it and when I did a good pull in it, and when it got into the VTEC, like, you can hear it. And I know usually on the F23s, it's more of a, like, fuel economy type of car. So you don't really hear an aggressive VTEC. But on this one, you can really hear it. I don't know if it's because it got intake headers and full exhaust and all that stuff. So that could be a reason. But I definitely feel like it pulls a lot harder. I mean, by no means does it feel like an H22 VTEC cracking or something, because I feel like the H22s, F20Bs, and H23s have, like, the best sounding VTEC crack I've ever heard in my life. So far, we got pistons are different. It's a higher compression ratio. The tune will be different from a JDM and USDM. The intake upper plenum is different. Injectors are different. Valve covers have a different paint coating on them. And then the cam. Good to know, good to know.
I saw both the JDM and USDM and they both still have the same bore and stroke. The, the bore is still 86 millimeters and the stroke is still a 97 millimeter. Same as the USDM and JDM engine, identical. The displacement is still a 2.3, which is 2,254 cc's. They're both still a single cam 16 valve VTEC engine. The compression ratios are different. USDM has a 931 compression ratio and the JDM has a 981 compression ratio. Bumping up the power a little bit from the USDM engine having 150 horsepower to 158 horsepower. The JDM engine has more of aggressive cam, which I can say because you can feel the VTEC hit harder on the JDM engine. And I know a lot of people have told me that they feel like, like I have one person that messaged me on Instagram saying that he did a JDM swap on his car and felt like VTEC hit a lot harder, which I can agree with because on this car, the VTEC hits really good. Therefore, if it has more aggressive lobes on the cam where the VTEC valve a rocker sits on the cam is going to be more aggressive when the VTEC kicks. So, therefore, I can say for sure it must have an aggressive cam, a better cam, like more aggressive cam. And then the, the compression ratio, this car pulls a lot harder than the black, my black coupe did when I was an NA car, even with the rebuilt engine. So, I can definitely say there could be a possibility of a higher compression. Only thing I can think of is. I don't know if we're doing a compression test will show a difference, but maybe we'll do a compression test on this car and on Matt's car. They're both low mileage, healthy engines. So maybe we can do a video on that. If you guys want to see that, let me know down in the comments. We'll do a compression ratio on this car and Matt's car. Another video I wanted to do is what does a stock F23 make on the dyno? This car obviously has intake head and exhaust, so it might make a little more power. I'm not sure. But I'm talking to Matt. Maybe we'll put Matt's car on the dyno and this car on the dyno and see what they make from like a stock engine to like a full bolt on per se because this has intake headers and exhaust not to none of that stuff so maybe we could do that if you guys want to see that video as well let me know down in the comments and how do you identify an f23 from a u like a usdm engine and a jdm engine or how do you know what years they came out of this is how valve covers have this wrinkled black looking valve cover usdm ones will be like a gray also if you look down here it says F23A, if it will focus on it. F23A, right there. If it was a USDM engine, it would say A1, A4, A5, A7, whatever, you know? So F23A will be JDM. And how to identify the year it came out of? I have to look at numbers or anything. Easy, right there. This came out of an 03. Because in Japan, the years were different from 97 to 03. And in the States, it was 98 to 02. So JDM, 97, 03. USDM, 98, 02. So like I said, this one has some bolt-ons. So the power is going to be a little more higher. It does have a full intake on it. it has a Megan headers, downpipe, and full exhaust out the back. Those are the difference between a USDM F23 and a JDM F23. If you guys have any questions or anything, if you guys want to see us put this car and Matt's car on the dyno, see the comparison difference of USDM and JDM engine. I know this has bolt-ons, like an intake and header and exhaust. I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference just because it's not tuned. And normally you don't get the full potential of an intake or header or exhaust or cam or anything you put on a car without doing a tune. So it might make a little more but i don't think it's gonna make a difference where it's gonna be like 20 horsepower or anything you know maybe two or three four horsepower difference if that but like i said i know it says the usdm makes 150 horsepower to the crank so i want to see what that would translate to in wheel horsepower see the loss in the power and then this is supposed to make 158 horsepower to the crank i want to see what the loss is to the wheels and the difference with the bolts on the stuff from usdm and jdm engines because i know what my accord made when it was a full bolt on car so i would like to see what the difference is from a full bolt on and on a usdm engine and a stock f23 on a usdm engine so if you guys want to see those videos let me know down in the comments if you guys have not yet subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing leave your feedback in the comments if you guys enjoyed this video and excited for the daily uploads this video is going to go up a little later because i got some stuff to do after this and i got to edit still so you're still going to get your upload for the day but that's it for now guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to know more about the f23 stuff 
feel free to message me on Instagram or leave it down in the comments or sign. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. God bless.